Hey everybody, my name is Sentinel, and welcome back to Lisa the Oblivious. In the last episode, we made our way through the Creepy Crawlies territory. We fought their leader, Tyrantula Jones, and now we're here in the desert, and it is actually kind of beautiful. Even though I hate deserts with a burning passion. <laughs> Get it? That's, yeah, all right. Oh, thank Wally. You have to help me out here. Garrett has lost the plot. I don't think there was a plot in this one, if I'm being honest with you. He knocked me out cold and buried me here. He says that the earth will heal me. Lend me a hand, will you? I swear, Ricky, if you rip his upper body off. Oh, hey, those pants, what are those? I don't know what that is either. Where'd this guy go? Hey, but, oh, hey, that's a, on a tree? Do you think he just ran into it really fast? Like that, what was it, Tucker and Dale fights evil? There's a, there's a, there's a character runs into a tree. Don't worry about it. I don't know if I want to go that way. I, this guy is gone. Wow, he just pulled a me and left. Okay, I guess we'll see him in four months. Impaled as if the tree itself had intended it. That is comforting. That is normal. I, uh, oh, I don't have any empty bottles. What is this insolence? Uh, I just tried to get some water, man. That, oh, hi. What is he doing with that tree? Hey, buddy, is that a hippie? Trying to undermine my efforts. Nay, hey, your bed was made when you succumbed to the vile blue product. Okay, dude, listen. <laughs> I know we got sent back in time essentially because of the apocalypse and everyone acts like it's <laughs> the medieval ages, but we don't have to start talking like it, all right? Such insubordination must be punished. Yeah. He, he, oh, there we go. That, mm, don't know if we should go over there. Uh, but I'm gonna do it. So recently I saw Sons of the Forest got delayed and I am actually extremely upset. If you don't know, the Forest is a pretty fun horror game, survival game. It's kind of a mix of both. That's either a very strong man or one very sharp shovel. Maybe both, maybe a very strong shovel with a very sharp man or very sharp shovel with a strong man. Regardless, I'm still looking for that guy, hint. If you've gotten stuck, walk back the way you came and forth again. Leaving an unresolved room will put everything right back where it was. Okay. But yeah, Sons of the Forest got delayed and I'm really upset because I was looking forward to playing that with my friends. I didn't really play the first one on the channel. I don't think I put up any of it on the channel, but I played it and it was a ton of fun. I don't like the look of that. What? It's just a bunch of hands. A little grabby hand. Oh, it's like the microwave hallway in Metal Gear Solid. Oh, oh, oh God. They're petting me. He gave massages like that Ork game that came out on Steam. You feel something touch your leg? I feel like a lot of things touching me right now. And I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of nice. Ew, oh God, there's a lot of, oh, I didn't even explore the whole cave first. You feel something stroke you, nice. All right, okay, now you're getting my attention. Okay, oh no, that's not good. Feel something grab at you? Listen guys, you gotta take me out to dinner first. <laughs> that's how this works. Tony, get back here. You know how long it would take to turn around in this? This is going to take a while. It's the microwave hallway, but with hands. I'll hold you down if I... Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. That's actually really sad. I, I do not like the implication. Oh, I do not like the implication of this. G get your hands off me. Oh, no. Tony, wait, I feel bad. I feel bad about all the things I accuse Tony of doing. You won't get far. You're just going to make me angry. You can get far. Your tiny little baby legs can run. All right, call child protection services. That's not a joke. Uh, the rest of these have been jokes. That one's not. What do you struggle for, boy? Uh, God, is it pride? No, it's definitely not pride. I'm gonna have to go back through this hallway. You've got nothing to be proud of. True, you sound like my teachers in college, actually. Give up. There's nowhere to go. Sticky? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, Cheeks. I like how they're establishing that Cheeks is the best boy. Everyone loves Cheeks. I, that's, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, actually, yeah, everyone loves <laughs> Cheeks in one way or another. Sticky, it's so nice to see you after such a long day. You too, dude. Ah, oh, you really didn't have to wait up for me. I ended up being so late too. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I like having an excuse to be out and about, right? Uh, I guess it's not like I really want to go home anyway. How old am I? I look kind of old. You remember when we were kids? Sometimes when I came over to your place and it was time to leave, I used to bawl my eyes out. 
And then when my dad came to get me, I ran and hid in your room. Still a bit embarrassed. That's not embarrassing. <laughs> no, no, that's not embarrassing at all, considering what we the implications of what we just learned. You were just a kid. Even so, always like having your company. You know, if things get too rough at home, you can always crash with me. We could even be roommates. Roomies. Best buds. We can bunk the beds. I can. I would love to. But I can't leave him on his... You can. Probably. Wasn't Sticky's dad the army veteran? I think we got a scene or a flashback with Brad and Lisa the Painful regarding him. But I don't really remember. He's too much of a hazard. There's nobody else who can do it. I, you can, they could get nurses if he really needs help. I mean, I don't know when this takes place, but actually, you know what? Probably not. Mental health care is a little lacking. A little lacking. And by that, I mean a very, very much so lacking. A lot of lacking in the United States. I see. But thank you. Let me walk you home. There is actually a story I saw recently. Oh, hey. Hey, Rick. Check me out. I'm up here now oh god that's i hope there's something oh i hope there's something good for doing all that mystery jerky fish yes okay cool so now we can actually get back up here was there a real reason for this i'm just gonna go for it and then i guess i got oh my up uh, <clears throat> Uh, I should have expected that. Wow, and just like that, it's like nothing happened. Awesome, great. Now we can do this. As I was saying though, there was actually, I read a story recently. God damn it. But there was a article I read recently about a man in Japan who married Hatsune Miku. And if you don't know who Hatsune Miku is, how long have you been on the internet? She is the greatest idol of all and she will save us someday when she brings world peace. Oh, I gotta go back through the thing. But there's an article about a man who married her, and it was really interesting to me because while a lot of people were poking fun at the idea or the subject, it's more of a case of Japan's lack of mental health care because the reason why this guy married Hatsune Miku is because he was getting, like, bullied at work. He was, like, having trouble. Like, he never had a relationship. He didn't know how to approach women. And, like, there's a bunch of stuff like that. And it was interesting to me because people were just poking fun at the idea, but... Everyone has their own coping mechanisms, right? Everyone has things that make them happy, and I just... It rubs me the wrong way when people make fun of that sort of thing, no matter how ridiculous that sentence sounds. So I just wanted to say that I appreciate you all, and that, hey, if you do what you do, you do what you do, you know what I mean? As long as you're not hurting anyone, what's the issue? Like, what's the... They gave up struggling. As they should! Wait, that sounds kind of weird. You should always struggle. Where does it start and end? Should I even look at this one? Nope, I shouldn't. It's like an onion ring. It's like my onion ring it off. <laughs> well, if I push this, where does this go? Oh, it's cool. It's kind of like a uh, shortcut. Neat. But mental health in general is actually something a lot of people don't talk about a lot. And uh, I just wanted to say, I know people kind of get sick of hearing this, but uh, I, I really want to reaffirm it that you matter. And I'm glad you're here. I don't trust this guy at all. I'll try to talk to him. Be prepared for anything. What do we have here, travelers? I don't know who sees Rick and Sticky and the first thing they think is traveler. Welcome one and all to my garden. It kind of sucks, but you know, no greenhouse, but it's impressive. This is supposed to be a garden. Okay, it's not impressive. Yeah, your garden sucks. Naturally, get it? <laughs> I like that. The Earth's Healing Embrace is home to man and plants here. Your friend here would make a fine addition. I'm not gonna let you do that. Please just let us through. We've been through enough. I don't know if I'm going the right way. There's actually another path all the way to the right, and suddenly I'm feeling like I made a terrible decision. Did that sound like a question? Besides that, how do you expect to get the toxins out of his system? What? He must have been a joy addict. Therefore, my naturalistic therapies are completely at his disposal. You're talking nonsense. Rick would never... Sticky, come on, man. <laughs> Sticky, come on. <laughs> Especially not after what we've been through. I knew him. I've known him since we were both children. You could say as much, but what I see paints a different picture. How do you think they turn out this way, huh? It's the chemicals. It's the chemicals. Look at those chemtrails back there. <laughs> 
You're turning the freaking frogs gay. Fuck that guy. Your old pal Rick is probably some sort of closet junkie. Why should I believe anything you say? You're clearly insane. I, I mean, yes, but also... I don't think we're really in a good position to be saying that. I mean, look at us. It's just, I just, he's just gonna, you know. And you're being dense if you think denying it will help. Well, I've had it with you anyway. If you won't move, I'll make you. With my hammer, my tiny fist. Go on, then. Did he just cock a shovel? Oh, that's not good. Oh, man, his nips are out. Oh, geez. I'm going to tend to my wounds. How am I looking? I'm not looking good. Music's a banger. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> okay. Okay, buddy. And fist. Okay, you got me. All right. Never mind. I think we need to go about this in a very tactical manner. What? Why did he... He has druid powers. What is this? Is this the final boss? I feel like this might be the final boss. I did not come here in preparation of the final boss. Glare at him? Yay, wary! That's a lot of them. I guess I'm just attacking straight through. Like, I don't really have an option for who to attack. So, okay, we're just doing it. We're just gonna keep scratching. I don't think that really works against the roots, but you might as well give it a shot. Toothy is coughing up a lot of blood. Can someone please check on Toothy? This is why you should always carry some weed killer on you. Not only is it strong against plant monsters in the apocalypse, it also works on humans. Could you not heal? Is this fight not difficult enough, buddy? Do you not see me struggling already? I don't need you healing thrown into the mix. All right, so I'm going to use a secret technique, which is called I am going to guard a bunch to get my SP back. So here we go. All right, now we're going to mount because he's going to sweep my ankles. There we go. Okay, never mind. It's gone. All right, never mind. He wasn't going to do that, but we could scratch him. Richard doesn't clip his neck. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Uh, dismount? Do I still have my hammer? I don't know if I have my hammer still. Oh, I need to equip it again. And toss it. There we go. Great. Okay, he's not stunned anymore. Never mind. We're on dude again. I really feel like I missed out on a sweet weapon at some point. Because <laughs> otherwise, why would it ask me to... Why would it ask me what item I want to swap out to? We're just going to keep hammering him until he dies, which is a very shovel versus hammer. He hasn't used the shovel, but technically he has it. So it is kind of like shovel versus hammer, right? I feel like this enemy would be a lot scarier if he used his shovel. So far, he's just summoning plants and stuff, which while intimidating, doesn't sound like the strongest ability he could be doing. All right, one more. He's going to don't heal because I was going to say you're about to die. And now I'm just going to look like a liar. OK, back to guarding. We'll be back. It's okay. Richard has been taking the blunt force trauma that would typically be applied to our forehead. But we are doing well. We are doing great. I don't actually know how we're going to kill this guy because he seems to keep healing. But eventually he's going to give up or we'll we'll die first. I'm not I'm really not sure at this point. Okay, maybe I should heal. Maybe I should go ahead and do this real quick. How are how is sticky resistant to the shovel? Okay, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, I appreciate if you stop doing that. You know what? I'm just going to do this. This sounds like a waste. I'm sure someone is screaming at their monitor right now, but it's fine. It's fine because we're all throw a hammer. All right, die. Okay, die now. I'm going to do this the hard way then. Or I guess the easy way. Here, how about this then? Glaring is really good. I think. And then I'm going to dismount because now that he has glare on him, I think he takes extra damage. Is that how it works? You know, I played so many of these games and I actually have no idea what 90% of the status effects do, which says a lot about me, I think, at this point. Richard, you how are you confused? You haven't done anything. I'm basically fighting this guy on my own. His titties are intimidating me. It's really sad that Sticky and Brad and them all had really bad, like, childhoods or, like, later lives. And then just what happens with them later on is just... <laughs> It's so sad. 
I guess that's kind of the theme of Lisa the Painful, right? Everything sucks, and you keep on living until you don't. But because everything sucks... Oh, we did it! Woo! I can stop with my spiel now. Nice. Level five. War cry? I think it's actually just regular crying, if I'm being honest. Boy, oh, hey, we did it. We killed the... Oh! All right, listen. That might be going a little too far. No. No, 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 no. I, I have to help you. I'm trying to heal you. Uh, help me. No, I'm good. I'm... Listen. I don't think there's anything I could do to start with. This is not something I thought I'd see today, though. <laughs> when I woke up, this is not what I thought I'd see. S -s -s Simon, I'm sorry. Don't give me your last words. Don't say the name of someone before you die. It's crazy. Now it makes me feel bad. Hey, on the upside, though, we don't have to feed Rick today. That's always a plus, baby. Can I get a shovel? No? Okay. You know how bad it'll be if I need to go to the right? <laughs> I hope this is the right way. Actually, I don't because I didn't explore to the right. But I'm so far in at this point, I think I just need to keep holding left. This place is starting to feel familiar. It also feels like the point of no return. Okay, I'm going back to the right. Okay, do we note it? Do we note it? Look at that tiny baby plan that got tipped over. It's kind of like a deep analogy for what just happened. Kinda. Not really, though. Anyway, let's explore this area. Was he a druid? Is that... Was that what was going on? Is he a, he a druid? Can I... How do I... Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sticky. Great. Why do we call him Sticky? You know what I mean? Is there a... Is there a reason... Because typically, if someone's called Sticky, that's not a that's not a good nickname. It's kind of like how military nicknames are all assholeish and dumb. I saw some guy say his nickname was Firehose because he pissed his pants when he was drunk. <laughs> There's another one who said his name was Rat because he was short and ugly, and it was just like, oh, okay, great, very good nicknames, everyone, very good, very creative. What do I do here? There are items and I want them, but I do not know how to get them. I'll figure it out in between the episodes. That's going to do for this one. In the next episode, I assume we'll wrap up the game. We'll probably fight that joy mutant down below to start it off. See if we can figure out what's going on over to the right. And uh, yeah, wrap this up. 